So in the previous video I created this main function and in this video I am going to define this push function or I am going to create this push function to insert elements into the stack. Now this push function takes an argument of type int. So int element, element is just a variable of type int. Now before trying to insert new elements into the stack, we must check whether the stack is full or not. Because if the stack is full, then we won't be able to insert new elements into the stack. And if the stack is full, and then the user tries to insert new elements into the stack then a message should be displayed saying the stack is full Now let's check how will this top equal to equal to max minus 1 work. Now here the value of max is 5. So the size of our stack is 5. Now if the size of the stack is 5 then our stack will be full when the value of top will be equal to 4. So when the value of top will be equal to 4 then this stack will be full. Now the value of max in this program is 5. So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Now this if statement will check is the value of top equal to the value of max minus 1. Now if the value of top will be 4 then this condition will become true and if this condition will become true if top will be equal to max minus 1 then this printf st statement will be executed and stack overflow will be printed on the screen now suppose this stack is not full the value of top is not equal to 4 there's still one place left in the stack. The value of top is equal to 3. And now let's check this if statement. Now the value of top is equal to 3. Now this if statement will check is the value of top equal to max minus 1. And the answer is no. This condition becomes false because the value of top is 3 and max minus 1 is 4. So, if this condition becomes false, then this printf statement and this return statement will not be executed. Now, this return statement will stop execution of this function or this return statement will terminate this function. If this condition becomes true or if the stack is full, then we only want this push function to print this stack overflow message and move out of the function and we can move out of this function by using a return statement which will terminate this function. These two statements will be responsible for inserting elements into the stack. Now let me explain you how these two statements will work. Initially the value of top will be equal to minus 1 because initially the stack will be empty and when the stack is empty the value of top is equal to minus 1 now suppose we want to insert a new element into the stack then first the value of top will be incremented by 1 the value of top at this point is minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0 so top becomes equal to 0. First this code should get executed and after this this code should be executed. Now the value of top is 0 and 
and this element is an integer variable and suppose the value of this variable element is 10 then 10 should get inserted at this position which is 0 now if you want to insert another element into the stack then again the value of top will be incremented by 1 the value of top at this point is 0 so 0 plus 1 equals to 1 now top becomes equal to 1 and then this code should get executed the value of top at this point is 1 suppose the value of this variable element is 100 then 100 should get inserted at this position which is 1 now again if you want to insert another element into the stack then again the value of top will be incremented by 1 the value of top at this point is 1 so 1 plus 1 equals to 2 the value of top becomes 2 then this code should get executed the value of top is 2 suppose the value of this variable element is 200 then 200 should get ins get inserted at this position which is 2 so this is how elements are inserted into the stack and if we keep on inserting new elements top equals to 4 then a point will come when the stack will be full and when the stack is full then it is known as overflow condition first this code is executed the value of top is incremented by one then a new element is inserted from the top so in a stack the new elements are always inserted from the top this is the end of the push function now let's see how this push function will be executed coming to the main function here one stands for push so if the user enters one as a choice then this case one will get executed a message will be printed on the screen that enter a number to be inserted the scan if statement will allow the user to enter a number now let's say suppose the user enters 10 as num so the value of this num will become 10 now the function push will be called the control will be transferred to this location we are calling the function push with an argument num now the value of num is 10 so 10 will be passed here and the value of this variable element will become 10 this if statement will check if the stack is full or not or if this condition is true or not and if this condition is true then this printf statement will be executed stack overflow will be printed on the screen then we will move out of this push function because this return statement will terminate this function if this condition becomes false if the stack is not full then the control will go here and these two statements will get executed first the value of top will be incremented by one and then a new element will be inserted to the top of the stack here in our example I assume the value of element to be 10 so 10 will be inserted to the top of the stack so this is how the push function will be executed after executing this push function the statements after the function call will be executed this is the function call when this statement was executed the control was transferred here 
this is the f this is the statement after the function call so after executing this push function this break statement should get executed and with this break statement we will come out of this switch case so this is how you create a function to insert elements into the stack and in the next video I'll create or define this function pop which will be used to delete elements of the stack.